a such motion. To lay a bill across the journal? There is no such motion. it across the journal? There is no such motion. Chairman, Dr. Bonin for a motion. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move to reconsider the vote by which amendment number eight by Allison was adopted. Members, you've heard the motion. Is there any objection? Mr. Speaker, I'd like to object. Would you like to speak against the motion to reconsider the amendment, Mr. Speaker? Come on. I, I, would, like, part, I would like to ask the uh, author of the bill a question. Mr. Stickland, it's a three-minute pro and con on reconsidering the amendment. I'm, I'm not trying to talk for or against it. I had a question for the I author. I understand, but the rules are that there's a three-minute pro and con. Right, but, Mr. Speaker, parliamentary inquiry. And it's the motion to reconsider that's before the House right now, Mr. Stickland. Correct. But we can't ask the author why he's trying to do this? Mr. Stickland, Dr. Bonin, has three minutes to speak, speak. A parliamentary inquiry. Please state your inquiry, Mr. Dickley. Is there no way for me to ask the author of Senate Bill 11 a question about why he would like to reconsider? Mr. Stickland, I was just letting you know that there are three minutes pro and con to reconsidering the amendment. Dr. Bonin will have three minutes to explain up to three minutes. He doesn't have to take three minutes as to why he'd like to reconsider the amendment. Chair now is Dr. Bonner. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I appreciate the opportunity to uh, bring this back before the body, and I think that by reconsidering uh, the amendment uh, by Representative Allison, which was an excellent amendment that uh, really spoke to helping to prevent uh, suicide, uh, which is one of the leading causes of, of death among teenagers in our state and in this country, we actually have an opportunity to do some additional work that will further strengthen this piece of legislation and further uh, make safe our schools uh, in the state of Texas. Speaker, does the gentleman yield for a question? Gentleman yield for a question. I yield for gentleman a question. Yields. Representative Bonin, um, so are you trying to strip out Representative Allison's amendment? So the motion is to recall that amendment. Why? because I believe we have an opportunity to then add additional policy to this bill, which will be good for the legislation and good for the state. So you don't think it's good right now? I think we can make it better. And how do you plan on making it better? By offering, well, I think there will be uh, other policy offered that can make it better. Offered by who? I am not advised at this time. You're not advised, but you are bringing before the body a motion to reconsider? Absolutely. But you don't know who's going to bring this piece uh, of legislation? Well, look, I, I, I think there's more than one person that can do that. I could do it. Another member Are you could planning do it. on doing it? Um, I'm happy to, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be me. Have you seen the piece of legislation or the amendment? That I have, and, and in fact, if you would... Uh, allow us to, we'll let the whole body take a look at it. Is this something we've seen before? Absolutely. It is. At this stage, there are not a whole lot of things that haven't been seen before. Is there anyone wishing to speak against the motion to reconsider the amendment? I would. Mr. Stickland, in opposition of re reconsidering the Allison Amendment. Members, we all kind of know what's going on here, and um, I hope the folks back at home know what's going on here. Apparently, these rules and the order of business doesn't matter at this time of the night. So what some folks have done is gone into the back room and figure out a way to bring back a bill that died by the rules of the house. Mr. Stickland, you need to speak to the question of reconsidering the amendment. Members, this body matters to me and the process matters. 
And the reason that I am against. Mr. Guerin, for what purpose? Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Please Speaker. Please state your inquiry. Mr. Speaker, is anything that has done, been done tonight violate the rules of the Texas House of Representatives? No, sir. Not one thing that's happened this evening on this bill? No, sir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. I want to be clear, I'm not accusing of any rules being broken. What I'm talking about being broken is the way that we do business. Of the Zerwas Amendment to the Allison Amendment to Senate Bill 11 under Rule 11, Section 2 of the House Rules on the grounds that the amendment is not germane. The subject of the amendment is student mental health and resources for ensuring that health. The subject of the amendment to the amendment is the establishment of a consortium of the state's medical schools to provide resources for the mental health of children and adolescents, i.e. students. A primary rationale for the amendment and the amendment to the amendment is that provision of student mental health resources has a direct bearing on providing safe school environments. The amendment to the amendment is on the same subject as the amendment and therefore is germane. Accordingly, the point of order is respectfully overruled. Chair recognizes Dr. Zerwas again on his amendment. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Please state your inquiry. I'm just Speaker. curious how the parliamentarian had that write-up ready so quickly tonight. It's not a proper parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Stickland. Go ahead, Dr. Zerwas. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Stickland. I rise to raise a point order against further consideration of this amendment to the amendment. According to Rule 11, Section 3, that it changes the original purpose of the bill. Bring your point of order down. an amendment to the Senate bill. 11 under rule 11 section 3 of the house rules on the grounds that the Zerwas amendment changes the original purpose of the bill the Zerwas amendment is not amending the bill but rather another amendment thus it does not come within the ambit of the rule accordingly the point of order is respectfully overruled chair recognize dr Zerwas. thank you mr speaker and uh, members uh, this is uh, i appreciate dr bond uh, taking the time to work within the rules of the House so that we could uh, bring up a very, very important uh, consideration tonight. Uh, actually, one of the governor's emergency items, uh, Senate Bill 11 in and of itself is one of the governor's emergency items, and the contents of this particular amendment are likewise one of the governor's yes. emergency items, and it specifically adds a chapter uh, called the Te Texas Child Mental Health Care Consortium. Uh, I spoke to this a little bit earlier when I was speaking to another a bill, and what this amendment does do is it seeks to expand access to mental health services by leveraging the psychiatric expertise at Texas's health-related institution uh, to provide telehealth cons consultations. And um, with that, uh, Mr. Speaker, I would uh, I would move adoption of this amendment. Mr. Speaker, will the gentleman yield? Mr. Gutierrez, just for a question. Does the gentleman yield for a question? Yes. Um, you said it was an emergency item. Why wasn't it placed on the emergency calendar? I'm not advised. Thank you. Mr. Dr. Zerwas offers up an amendment to the Zerwas Amendment. Members, the question occurs on the adoption of the Zerwas Amendment to the Allison Amendment as amended. All those in favor say aye. aye. Mr. Stickland, you can't ask for a verification, Ms. Stickland. Record votes been requested by Mr. Stickland. Mr. Stickland has requested strict enforcement. Strict enforcement is granted. A record vote has also been requested by Ms. Stickland. The clerk will please ring the bell. Up or down, vote aye, vote no. <laughs> Members, I will give you time to vote from your desk if you could please get there.
There being 114 ayes and 15 nays, the amendment to the amendment is adopted. The question now occurs on the Allison amendment is adopted as amended. Is there any objection? Mr. Stickland? Chair now is Mr. Canales. I move the previous question on passing the third reading of SB 11. Member, the chair has 25 seconds, frankly beyond that. They'll be entered into the journal. Members, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Siglin, for parliamentary members, inquiry. Please state your inquiry. Could, for the for the body's uh, sake, could you please read the names of the 25 signatures? Be, I would like Mr. Siglin, if you're going to ask a question, let me answer it. They will be entered into the journal, Mr. Siglin. Mr. Speaker, parliamentary inquiry. Please state your inquiry. Um, as is precedent for um, knocking a bill off local with the five signatures, those are usually read and verified that the members actually signed. Are we sure that they are present, Mr. Speaker? The chair has verified that the members are here and present and have signed. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Parliamentary please inquiry. State your inquiry. Could you please verify for the body and the public who the 25 seconds Ms. on Speaker, you've already asked that motion question. the previous I've made question? It very clear. The chair has verified them. Those will be put into the record as you've requested. Parliamentary please inquiry, please Mr. Speaker. Please state your inquiry, Ms. Stickland. On the motion of the previous question, is that on the amendment to Senate Bill 11? or the bill itself. Mr. Stickland, it's on the bill itself. If the motion prevails, we will have to vote immediately on the amendment. Mr. Speaker, uh, if I, Mr. Stickland, if you let me finish on the Allison amendment, and then we will vote on the bill itself. Parliamentary inquiry. Please state your inquiry. Isn't the motion uh, for the previous question go directly to the passage of the bill and negate all amendments no, it does not. Okay, so the mo parliamentary inquiry. Please state your inquiry. The motion for the previous question is on the amendment. Is that correct? I think I, no, it's on the bill. But there's an amendment before the body, so we will immediately vote on the amendment before the body and then on the bill, as I explained a moment ago. Speaker, parliamentary inquiry. Please state your inquiry. How can we do that? Because the rules allow it. Which rule is that, Mr. Speaker? Rule 7, Section 21. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Please, please state your inquiry, Mr. Stickland. You said Rule 7, Section 21? I sure did. And where in that rule, Mr. Speaker, does it say that we can move the previous question on the bill and then go back and vote on an amendment to the bill that's already been Mr. passed? Mr. Stickland, that's not a proper parliamentary inquiry. Clerk will please ring the bell. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Ms. Stickland, we're in the middle of a vote. Parliamentary inquiry, Mr. Speaker. Ms. Stickland, we're in the middle of a vote. Wow. There being 130 ayes and 13 nays, the Allison Amendment is adopted. I'm sorry, the motion for previous question prevails. Members, we are now on the Allison Amendment as amended. It is a record vote. The clerk will please ring the bell. There being 130 ayes and 14 nays, the amendment is adopted. We're now, the now question occurs on the passage of Senate Bill 11 as amended. The clerk will please ring the bell. The clerk. 
question is on the passage of third reading of Senate Bill 11. It's a record vote. The clerk will please ring the bell. She, Mr. Harless, voting aye. There being 130 ayes and 11 nays, Senate Bill 11 is passed to third reading. 